Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you how to encode my name as colors in Snap. So I'm asking for my name, it's Jens, and I can get it back from the answer reporter. Now, I would like to draw my name as colors. So I'm making the sprite go to a certain position, and I'm initializing um, the colors. First, I'm clearing the screen and I'm setting the pen saturation to 100%. I'll be doing the same thing to uh, the brightness. And um, I want to encode the length of my string in the color. So here's the length of the answer, it's four. So I'm setting the color component to be four. I'm gonna put the pen down and move it a bit so as to draw a line. First, I'm gonna make the pen a little bit larger so the line is gonna be really bold. Putting the pen size to 40 and I'm moving 40 steps. Now I would like to repeat the same thing for all the letters. Wait, so we have the length of the answer. We have something better in Snap. It's the for each block from the tools library. So for every letter of my name, I want to do the same thing. So my name, the answer is a string, and I would want to get the individual letters, so I can use the split block and the letter selector to get a list of letters. Now I can enumerate those letters using the for each block. So for each letter, I'm setting the pen color to be a color code, a code representing that color. And since there's more letters in the alphabet than a hundred, counting capital letters, I'm shifting them left by 32 because we don't need those first uh, letters in the Unicode table. And I'm moving the same step every time. Once I'm done, I'm putting the pen up. Let's try this. Hey, here is a line, a colored line that supposedly represents my name. Let's try to read it back. Let's again go to the same position and look at the color here. So here's a new block. Color add myself. It's 3.9 something. Let's round this. Here it is, 4. That was the length of the string that I put there. Let's repeat the length of that string and go to the next item, again move the 40 steps, and read what's there, and say what's there. So I'm going to say something, I'm going to say whatever color I read turned back into a character. So I'm rounding the color, I'm shifting it to write by 32 again, and now I'm converting it into a letter by using the Unicode as letter reporter. And I'm going to do this really fast, so let's say it for half a second. Um, let's check this out, whether it's again saying Jens, J-E-N-S. Yes, this seems to work. I've just encoded my name as colors. Okay, let's save the color code. I'm making a new sprite. I'm naming it code. I'm making it go to the center and look at this, in the pen category, there is a pen trails reporter. It gives me what is painted on the stage. And there is also a my costumes reporter. It shows me an empty list because I don't have any costumes yet. So if it's just a list, I can just add the pen trails to my costume and then clear the pen trails. Let's try this. Oops, where did it go? Sure enough, I've, got, I've now got a costume with my funny colored line. So 
I might need this in the future because I want to save several codes. So whenever I want to click this, I want to go to the next costume. Um, but also, when I paint something, this might get in the way. So I'm going to put in blocks to hide and show this. And in fact, I'm going to hide it right now and try to encode another name. Let's try another name. What's my name? Alonzo. Um, so I already got the um, script that gives me a colored line. So now I go to the codes and I'm going to save my Alonzo line. Um, now it's gone and it's, I can show it again. And I can click on it to switch me between the Jens line and the Alonzo line. So I'm keeping the Alonzo line shown. Let's try to read it. A-L-O-N-Z-O. -O. Sure enough, there's Alonzo. Let's click on it and read it again. J-E-N-S. There. We're done.